Bank Center for the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. It has been a while since we've all been able to get together. Uh, it's been a couple of years, as a matter of fact, since the last time we were doing it. Uh, Victor, yep. that, it's a fun atmosphere when it gets going with a lot of people rolling through there, isn't it? It is. We're about 15 minutes until doors open. People here tell me they're pretty excited to be talking to people again. Of course, the sport boat and recreation show. The boat part pretty covered. A lot of beautiful boats here. I will say be prepared to wear some shoes you can slip on and off because a lot of them, if you want to climb up into them, they ask you to remove your shoes. Completely understandable, as nice as some of those boats are. We've also got a lot of RVs lined up over there, some impressive places. And then another component we're looking at here, uh, we're here with Deaver Golf Car and Sales. And uh, we were talking to them earlier about why it's not golf carts anymore. They call them golf cars. They said, because when you spend that much money on it, it's basically like a car. And some of these are really nice. We're going to go over here. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Doing well. All right. We were talking to you all earlier. But now we're out here. We can kind of see some of these things. What are you all, what are some of the different uses you all have seen for these? We know it's not just golf at this point. I mean, camping, people at the lake with a lake house, people in their neighborhood, hunting, horse farms small farms, just, just about anything, anything anybody really needs. If you want to golf out of it, you can golf out of it and then take it to the farm and load some hay on the back and do whatever you need with it. And there's a big range, especially when it comes to cost, depending on how much you want to spend. Yeah, you tell me about that. Sure, we have um, two passenger cars as low as $49.99, all the way up to six passenger cars that are in the mid 20s. Um, you know, this is a great example of a vehicle. You know, it's in the 12 to 15,000 range, depending upon how you equip it, um, and definitely hold its value well. And so I want to look at the one over here. Ray, come over here. You're, we were talking about hunting. There's a pretty impressive one over here. You're, you're telling me about how a lot of people will load these up, take them out into the woods. Obviously, this isn't something for the golf course. No, no. <laughs> this, this has a uh, long travel lift kit on it. It's a six inch lift, uh, all terrain tires, mud tires on it. Um, has a little basket. This has uh, we have some shooting clays in here. You can put gun mounts. Uh, has a cargo bed on the back of it to load your coolers or whatever else you need. Any game that you may may uh, take or anything has a brush guard so you can get through the woods. This thing has a 13 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine in it. It's powerful enough to get you through the terrain. Yeah, you're not going to go off-roading in it, but you're going to get where you need to in this vehicle. All right. And then what's it like being back out here knowing you're going to be talking to so many different people today? We love it. Um, we like to get out, get everybody ready for spring, kind of get our salespeople ready and, and engaged. And it's a great time of year. Do you all get out and check out the floor and see all the other products? Uh, everything in here I want. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how I felt. I'm looking at some of these boats and it says, you know, take your shoes off. You kind of understand why. Uh, some really nice hardware in here. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I'm trying to think, just whenever you see on the outside, what's it like having everybody in the room? It, it, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, it's, they've done a really good job with the renovations here. Um, having everybody together, it's not spread out. So it, people can take their time in each booth, come see all the amazing equipment that everybody has, come see what we have. And I, I really think they've done a good job with this. All right, this gentlemen. Well, thank you all for talking to us. Thank, thank you all. You all have a good one. We'll yeah. see you all weekend. All right, from 10 to 8 today, 10 to 8 tomorrow as well. You can go to LexingtonBoatShow.com for your tickets and more information. Jim, back to you. All right, Victor, we appreciate you. And don't forget, we'll be at the KYT booth. Uh, Victor's going to be there from 2 until 6 today. Yep. And he says he's not charging for selfies. They're free, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It depends on if I need to get lunch. Right. I mean, you know, somebody want to give me five bucks a picture. I'll take it. <laughs> I won't turn it down. That's for sure.